And it's great to welcome back to Good Day, Carlo Capua from Z's Cafe, downtown Fort Worth. Hello, Carlo. Hello. Thank you. For, it's a pleasure to be back here again. Uh, you know, last year, Tim and Lauren did a great job chopping pineapple. So I'm going to put one of y'all to the uh -oh, test that here. Oh, pressure's on. And, and talk about the cuisine at the restaurant, at Z's Cafe. Sure. What is the... At Z's Cafe, you know, we're Italian, but uh, we have the best chicken salad in Fort Worth. And we're here today to promote Joe's Run, which is a 5K, 10K that will take place on Saturday morning uh, right downtown. It's a tropical theme. And you're going to make these sliders. We're going to make some pineapple Can't mango wait. sliders. We're going to teach you how to cut a mango. Uh, the best part about this run is that uh, the, all, the, all the proceeds raised go to benefit Samaritan House, which mm -hmm. is a local nonprofit here in Fort Worth. And that's something that's dear to you. Exactly. Our, uh, my business, Z's Cafe, we actually hire low-income men and women from Samaritan House to get them back on their feet and back to work. So it's a okay. win all the way around. So let's see how fast we can slice some mangoes. Perfect. Okay, so with a mango, it's a little different than a pineapple in that the core, it's got this kind of weird-shaped core. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice it maybe at half an inch off the center, right down the middle on one side, and then turn it the other side here. Mm. You can Flawless. see I just missed the core. Now what we can do, you do this little checkerboard pattern like this and it's what easy that do? what's that when you do the checkerboard well slide, it's easy i'll show you in just a second you cut it checkerboard style that way you can do a magic one two three flip it comes out like that uh, dan you want to work on cutting that off okay and then i just kind of cut off each uh, exact cut off the okay. cubes and then we're ready to go it's a fun thing you can have your kids uh help oh, do I'm, a little pop trick yeah i'm and butchering the mango but that's okay, okay. no yeah. worries all right yeah all right so let's tell you what we're going to do over here is okay. i've got some 80 20 uh, meat, which is 80% lean, 20% fat. It's good because when you can see it cooking, some of the, it releases the natural fats and oils, which gives it flavor. Uh, we'll cook for maybe five minutes on each side till it oh, gets okay. nice and brown. Okay. They're really easy to make, and a slider is basically a mini hamburger. So it's a fun thing to do for the kids. You can dress it up any way you want. You can see the toppings we have. We've got some pineapple, jalapeno, mango, uh, avocado. That's a lot of flavors there. You can do a lot of sweet, different. Savory. Exactly. Spicy. And even if you have a vegetarian in the family, you can skip the patty and just do a my personal favorite, mm -hmm. a jalapeno, uh, uh, jalapeno avocado. Oh so wow! It's pretty, like pretty good. That. But come to Joe's Run tomorrow at noon is the last day for uh, online sign up. You can oh, sign so up right. You can sign up race day, and the best thing is we're going to be breaking a Guinness World Record for the longest limbo line. We need 1,209 people to break this record. So. Dan could help. Yeah, you know, I... Uh, <laughs> Let's see your limbo on skills. I love to limbo. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's no secret. Okay, the great Joe's Run with that tropical theme Saturday at Panther Island Pavilion in Fort Worth. And as Carlo was talking about, what a fantastic cause. We sure appreciate you coming in. And uh, we'll maybe That's put together good. one of these sliders, you know, when, yeah. when we come back. We'll do one. We'll do and one. It's healthy. Yeah. It we is. We love that. Yes. All right, we'll be right back with weather.